With the patient sitting here on the side of the table, we can now perform a bicep reflex test. In this position, I actually use my thumb to go over and identify the tendon, and then I can strike right over the top of my thumb. It actually tensions the tendon a little bit better. I have the patient just relax their arm here, and I'm going to perform it in this position. You can see the movement there. We go back and contrast that to the other side. So I'm relaxing there, identify the tendon. Again, we get the same reaction on both sides for biceps tendon. With the patient here sitting on the side of the table, we can now test for C6 or brachioradialis reflex. We're going to get the patient at 90 degrees of elbow flexion and keep the thumb up in a neutral position here, identifying our brachioradialis tendon. I can cradle the arm, use my thumb to tension that tendon in this manner, and I'm going to tap right over my thumb. And looking for that reaction, or that re reflex reaction, we're going to now come to this side, identify the same area here over the thumb, and look for the same reaction once again. And that would be our test for brachioradialis reflex, or C6. With the patient sitting here at the edge of the table, we can now test for triceps reflex, or C7. I'm going to put the patient in a little bit of extension abduction, just allow the hand to hang, using my thumb to identify that distal tricep tendon. I'm going to tap right over my thumb, looking for that reaction right there from that reflex. We're going to then go around and test the other side, same position, identify the tendon, and looking for an equal reaction. We get a little bit of movement there as well, and that would be a test for our C7 triceps reflex.